inside this box is hopefully not a sit, walk and ride elephant. I also hope it's not a oh, scared looking child. I'll be honest, he, he's, he's not having that much fun, is he? He does not trust the person taking the photo. Just like I don't fully trust the contents of this box, really. We have upped the ante, as you can see. Yeah. Those were not enough pain for us, so I have dropped proper actual money on a Bulwark VR300, which has the added hilarity of having two concurrent listings for these things. I took some screenshots, I'll put them up here. Obviously, I bought one, made an offer of £100, from its £250 starting price. Always a good sign, isn't it? And then, yeah, found an identical listing with identical pictures from a completely different set. So, what is in this box? Let's have a look and quickly. Whilst I can still send it back if it isn't broken in. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, I've gone and spent another load of money on another broken Vorwerk cordless robotic vacuum cleaner. Oh my goodness. So, that bit's clamped down. No, you must come out there. We're going to get the box open and look. We actually do have... The original box, which was pictured in the listing, so ugh, fair enough. Let's tip this up. Some packaging there, nothing else in that box at all. So yes, we have a Volvo VR three hundred box. Hopefully, there is a VR three hundred in it. Okay, this is why this is happening on the day of delivery. My phasing app teaches you anything is I'll film everything because if it's rubbish, you have good comeback. Yeah, hundred pounds on a Cobold VR three hundred. It looks pretty much identical to the other ones. I mean, it is really. It's even the same voltage. I think this bit is key. Nineteen volts on there. Oh, Nineteen volts on there. Yeah, they are literally. The same chassis, difference is now this is more app based, hence no lights. Does it have any life in it at all? <gasps> oh. Actually going to start cleaning. So all three of the lights are flashing on the top. Do something. Turn it on! Oh. It is absolutely and utterly filthy inside. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to make it move because this apparently works. It has an app problem. Wouldn't connect to the lady. <gasps> the lady app. Oh my gosh. This wasn't in the listing. <laughs> and this is pretty much all they come with. They... Oh, hello. Well, it's just flashing at me now. I don't know if it knows it needs to be reset. It won't know my house map. But, oh my gosh. Felix, look, it's alive. Oh, yes. That, that is immediately 100% better than the last. Come on, Oh, yes! Yes, it works! Let us marvel at this in case this is the last time that it does ever work. I'll try and tap it over there. Come on. That's it. Straight. Straight from there. Perfect. It won't know. It will... I don't have any of the magnetic strips for it. Okay, we might just stop it there. Oh, so, I guess we should look at, if it works, 
on the app or not? That's it, you press the... Oh. You press the tripod away. Oh my goodness. So, it runs and drives. It absolutely stinks, but that's fine. It even docks and seems to be charging. But again, we know it works. It's, that's brilliant. Are you going to work? I don't know how to tell you. It's very much an app-based thing. I think that's where we should go next, because that is the biggest problem with this machine, apparently. The lady could it fell off her app, and she couldn't put it back on. So let's see if we can put it onto our app. Okay, so screen recorder is running. I, don't, I hope he's going to tell us how to do it. Here is the micro one. Look, there's Brian, one of the ones over there. Who knows? May never work again. I I, I'm not offline. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. It kicked me out of the app. Add a new device. VR 300. Enable location on your phone. Okay, whatever. Yes, I want this pronounced bouquet. Oh, what's my password? Eh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Ah. Well, no, no, no. Come and stand outside my house. I let you use the Wi Fi. Oh, what are we going to call this one? Let's call this one Brian uh, Ken. I don't know. May never work again. Activate your robot. Is it the base it's turned on? Press and hold the start button and the right side of the bumper at the same time until the robot switches off. There we go, all lights have switched off. Turn on the robot by pressing the start button. Wait until the robot boots. It's going to take up to a minute. Oh my goodness. Wait for what? Well, that took forever, but our Wi Fi icon is now pulsing, so we'll check, check, connect. No, what? No internet access notification. Oh, it is checking connection stuff. Whatever. Guess we'll see how long it takes for this to work. I can see the Wi-Fi symbol flashing differently, though. Ah, here we go. Yes. I don't know what detail. Done. Why is it giving me this? Just select it. Oh. Um, I'm struggling here. Do I have to do anything in here? Let me figure this out. I might have been being silly here. I'm connecting to VR robot. Ah. That might be the key. Because it'll pa yeah right. Because it'll pass my phone's Wi-Fi details through into the robot. So. Here we go. Is this going to work or is it going to crash out on us? I bet it's not going to work. But the fact that the robot works dumb is still absolutely brilliant. Come on, please don't error out. It's flashing fast. I mean, the hotspot's only just... Oh, here we go. Get an IP address. Oh my goodness, folks, I think we might have just added it to our app. Why the two twin scammy things? I don't know. Maybe I should make a 50 quid offer for the second one. The robot needs to be updated to the newest software version. Ooh. Ah! Okay, now this is interesting. This has just thrown us straight into the same thing that we had to do with the other ones. But with the addedness... Well, the fact that that was what I was already planning to do to here. So, we are going to check that it's still using micro USB. Of course it is. Well done. And I'm going to go put that firmware update on that stick and we'll update and see what happens. Okay, found my on-the-go cable. Make sure your folks don't know if it's fully charged. Don't care. Press and hold the ah, green button until all the lights have gone out. Night, night. Let's hope you don't die and that you come back.
Restart the robot by brief. Oh, we just done that. Oh, I should have read it. Blah blah blah. We must have basically when it's fired back up again, we gotta stick it here. This is a .tgz file. I mean that's a tar .bzz. I certainly heard of that. Oh, fast forward through all of this. Get it updated, and who knows? Maybe we'll get to that all done bit, and our robot will indeed be fully functional. Oh boy, here we go then, because that is now rebooted and flashing at us that the lid's open. Try again. Continue. Oh, da, 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 da. Whatever, I don't care. I'm sure we can rename it. Yeah, what it is activated. We've done that. I know, well, I suppose it's not, is it? Because, oh, but you have to. Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> Do all this. Oh, it just did a jingle. My robot is connected. Thirty-five oh, percent. It's charging. Oh, we must just go to test to buy stuff, isn't it? Oh, statistics. I presume they're probably not going to tell us the old person's cleaning, are they? Manual cleaning. Look, hey. So I'm like the old USB way that we used to do it. Oh, it stinks though. That is the only real problem with it. It absolutely honks. You're not cleaning. because it can't return to its base and yeah hopefully it does charge and it doesn't just have 35 percent on it i suppose this is now the key isn't it have i still bought dud and it just came over the percentage i'm gonna stop this video now and wait until it's charged and we'll confirm that point Okay, so holy moly, it runs, it works, it seems to be charging, it's gone up 3%. That's, that's good, that's all we need. So, what we're now going to do is, with the Victor V9, empty this disgusting thing, this full, and I mean full of dirt. Oh, ew, it's not been emptied in a long while, so let's get rid of that. It. It's exactly the same identical bin as the VR200. Obviously, Volwerk pinched our idea of putting a filter over the filter that we did for the VR100. But yes, I know your bin is out. Pop the bin back in, and I'm going to put this rubber plug back in because hey, it seems to work. And then we're actually going to flip it upside down and have a quick check under here whilst we have the vacuum out. So we have our side brush, not too bad at all. Oh, it's been a little bit closer. There we go, our side brush and our brush roll, which is actually hairy, but pretty mint. So I wasn't too worried about this, because obviously we got the pretty mint one from over there, but I mean, there's just hair all over it, really. And... You know how easy it is to get hair off, don't you? Especially when you have a Victor V9 to hand. Well, 
Well, I'm amazed. I just went to town with the vacuum and pulling all of the hair off. And look, it is mint. As mint as the one I was going to put it anyway. So I won't. You know what? The whole thing has a vibe of this was £250, which was pretty good. I really sent in a cheeky offer of a hundred quid on this. They're not worth that little nowadays. And yeah, look, it's just got a few scuffs on it, really. She smells. Cannot lie to you there. This thing absolutely honks. But that's fine. We can clean that out. For sure, nothing's broken, nothing's missing. We have a manual. She's good. I'm very, very much happier now. I was really thinking I was going to get scammed on this, especially after seeing it listed again. All right. Oop. Give the top a little bit of a wipe, although gently, because we don't want to scratch it, it's not faded. She's clean. Very, very clean. Smells a lot. This filter needs to go into the washing machine, but she runs really much better than the last ones.
here we accidentally go then. I am so happy. It's only taken us three, four, six. Neato, and it's all neato in that cheap chip. This one was not a scam. It wasn't broken. It's connected to the app. We found a manual. I got the box. It even seemed to work pretty flipping well. It picked up a nice amount of fluff from one run around the front room. So, happy days indeed for the VR300 that I thought might have been a scam. But there is one more thing that I want to do on this video before we stop. And that is to put you over there. And to pull you out and check that... It is outputting 19 volts at 2.3 amps because this has always been a problem with the VR200s. I have never had a known working dock to fit these and I think they are the same dock. I am very confident they are the same dock. This one has a battery in it. Let's see if this will actually charge up and work. Maybe it was the dock all along for this one. You can't buy the docks. I almost sort of hope it isn't because otherwise I'm going to have to hunt out another flipping cobalt dock and that will cost a fortune. But I'll come back when that's on and we'll see. Oh, hello. It is on. And the battery animation has started. Same as it always did. There you can see that. So let's try the old jumper trick. Oh no, wait, ah, we can't on these, can we? No, that is it. It don't work at all. Oh, this is the one with the white. Yes, you're on the Wi-Fi. Ah, is this the one that I can see through my app? Yes, it is, look. I picked up Brian, the original one with Wi-Fi. And yeah, Brian is showing 14% on his battery and it needs a minimum of 25% to do anything that 25% is also I think the first segment of that so I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea see if Brian decides to go any higher than 14% I'm sort of dragging out this scene now to see if maybe in a minute or two he'll go up to 15 I don't know I'll come back in a good half an hour and see well so far it's been a resounding success it's done all around downstairs it's made itself a floor plan of my house look it now knows where it's been and where it's going and bar the app or rather it losing the wi-fi quite a lot i've just binded the ip address to the mac address so hopefully it won't keep doing that i feel we have a few loose ends to go still remember the neatos well this charger will work on them sadly though still doesn't seem to be charging them if we come down here look and wait an eternity for this ancient bot back to turn on we'll see that the animation that matters is not animating which is pretty bad you can jump it by turning off the battery putting it back onto the dock uh, well then, oh this one's not doing it. <laughs> they boot up off of the other dock. This one that that's just flashing ever so gently. Ooh. Maybe that's not the key then. I was sort of hoping that because we had a spare working known dock, it might charge them because that's the problem with the one Nito dock that I have. I mean it's got the right voltages, but it could be completely wrong indeed. Yeah. Nothing at all. Stop saying that. You've got the fancy bit of rubber. Yeah, no, that is not working at all, sadly. Obviously, oh, the other VR200 again gets power. In fact, it's still turned on now, but does not take a charge either. Which is a big shame. Because this one is the Wi-Fi DR200 and yeah, doesn't, doesn't charge, doesn't take anything. So sadly, we have cleared a lot of things up, but equally, yeah, I'm still very happy with what we've found. That one's even remembered the date there. They're not that dead, they're just, it's the chips inside of them. But for now, we have 
two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven robots if I probably could have just bought a new Nito for all the money we've wasted on these. Oh yeah, that, that one's turning on, but we'll die soon afterwards. This one's still turned on, but only two of these will actually do anything. Well, either one will do something, the other one will just sit there. No. Who knows? But do you see me now? Look at this all just ah, it's it's frozen. Well, I, I am ready. Go on, then do some cleaning. Again, the app just completely stopped connecting to the flipping thing and it seems very difficult to just push a button like you can on this. So, oh dear, oh dear, we still have one broken Nito. One might have its issues. I still have... No! No, Veronica! Uh-oh, uh -oh. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop cleaning, you can't break. You're the only hope left. There we go. Three Vorworks, the VR 100, 200, and 300. Is the 300 going to be any good? I think it will. I'm going to stick it upstairs, blank its memory again, you know, relearn its map, because then at least it will still do a schedule, regardless of if the Wi Fi is a little bit iffy. And I'll keep an eye on that. Veronica still continues to serve us very well. This one works, but has the charging chip, but it's the Wi Fi one, so it's. If anything, the one I want to fix, all the rest, who knows, really. We might see them again, might send them off to a chap who's been in my comments, a very nice man, who says you should be able to change the charging chip. We shall see, although again, that one's had a brand new PCB, so who knows, but... I'm happy enough with the VR 300, a vacuum that you can still buy for nearly a grand today for £100. That'll do, and it's boxed, mint, and lovely, and I can add it to my Volwark collection. So thank you very much for watching and coming with me on this very expensive robotic vacuum cleaner journey. Oh, and they're all just so obsolete now, because you can get self-emptying ones. God, we're always late to the party. But, what a party it's been. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on this as I use it properly. And let it charge up and, you know, work a little bit. And I, and some of this other rubbish, will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>